Hello, good evening, good afternoon, bonjour, uh, guys and girls out there. Okay, quickly today, uh, what I want to show you. Now, sorry, first of all, for the poor lighting in here. You'll understand why in a minute. <coughs> but uh, today here, I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to uh, factory reset the uh, ST16 and then recalibrate all the sticks so that, the, that it knows all the same points before you actually rebind the game. Now, you might want to do this reset in your ST16 because you might be selling your Typhoon H on or you might be selling the ST16 on and you don't want anybody to get any of your uh, <coughs> telemetry log files to be able to see what you've been up to. Or you might have some pictures or there might be a wee bit of an issue going on with the with the ST16 and the, one of the first things you should do is a factory reset maybe. As long as you're out of warranty now, don't be doing this if uh, you're with, within warranty. Uh, but it, well, even if you are within warranty, depending on the circumstances, you might want to try this. Maybe the battery stopped charging or certain other things have gone wrong. Uh, a factory reset probably on the Android operating system is probably uh, one of the first steps you should should you should take. <laughs> Sorry, a wee bit of a sore throat. <clears throat> and I might go all a bit hoarse on you here today. So we'll let this boot up now and make sure all your sticks are all centered. We'll talk about that more later on. So we'll let that all put up, while that's putting up and powering up, uh, first thing you want to do also too is you want to connect via the small USB port on the ST16. You want to hook this up to your laptop or PC and it will show up on your laptop or PC as an external memory device that will try to upload or your PC might try to download uh, drivers and stuff like that. Don't worry about the drivers, no need for the drivers, all you want to do is see the storage and uh, basically Go into your, connect it up, connect to your laptop, uh, you'll see the storage, go in, copy all the files that you can find, you'll see them here in a second, copy them all, and uh, open a folder, and name the folder, whatever, and you can copy all your ST16 files, all your pictures, all your sh uh, low resolution videos, all your telemetry log files, everything that the ST16 has on it, you can copy them and paste them into a file on your PC, and that way you always have a backup. Because whenever you reset this, it will wipe it clean, completely wipe everything off the ST16. So, I've just figured out, <laughs> this is something I've never done before. The screen record function on the PC, so I'm hoping this is going to work here now. So, it says it's going to work. So, once this starts, we'll show you what I'm going to do. Right, so we're recording on the PC, and hopefully I can sync these two together for you. We'll not plug into the ST16 just yet. And that by now you should see the screen. So basically what I want to do is, I think I'm running Windows 8. We'll go up in here and we'll go into Documents. And uh, I've already named one because I've done this reset. So you'll see there's not much files in my ST69. I've already done a reset. But we'll do another one. So we'll go down. We'll... What's going on? I want to create a new... I want to create a new folder and I'm going to name it in capital lock uh, ST16 ST16 factory reset and today is the 26th of the 10th 2016 Right, so there we have created a wee folder, ST16 factory reset, blah blah blah, so we'll keep that there for now. And uh, we'll come up in here, in the computer. We'll see nothing there, we'll see devices with removable storage now. Get the micro USB, plug it in, and it should pop up as a storage device here somewhere. There we go, portable devices, and there it's popped up now as Anten, MRD, whatever, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. So this is, close that. This is actually the ST16. So double click, we'll go into there. We'll see internal storage, nearly five gigs, nearly of internal storage. We'll go in there and we'll see what all's in here. Like this. Go. I'm going to try and keep this as quick as possible, people. I really will, honestly. But you just have to bear with me. 
but this is the, probably be the best way to do it. So we we'll go in here and once we see all the feds and once this is all loaded up, it's taking a wee bit longer than normal because uh, I'm actually uh, recording the screen so it's taking a wee bit longer. So there's all the feds in the ST16 and the check boxes. You want to check them all. So shift, hold your shift key in and select them all. Right click and then we'll go copy. So right, so we'll go into, uh, so we'll go back in here now to our documents. You see there's the ST16 factory reset. Double click, we'll go into it. The folder's empty. And we will paste all them files that we've just copied into this folder. And it can take a bit of time, but it will do it. So this now means all your telemetry log files, everything to do with the whole system of this Android operating system is going to be copied onto your PC so if you need to go back and you want to look up your log files uh, and put them on the XMAPs or whatever you want to do even this is another handy way too for creating your own logs for your PFCO your, if you're in the UK for if you're out flying just, just go in and copy your log files, log files and copy them into a folder of your own somewhere and you have all your log files kept there that's your flight logs everything's there do you know what I mean you don't really need to do any more than that that's all you're required to do is keep logs and that records everything your logs record your voltage and everything there so it's quite a neat little tool it saves all that paperwork go and do your job and come back and fill in your logs and have everything there and you can print it off and keep a hard copy if you want you know but as long as you have a copy and keep your copy for uh, three years minimum keep a copy for your pfco of all your files for a minimum of three years that's you you're good to go so you can see there now it's copying all the files across nearly done be done that's us so now we'll have a copy of everything on the st16 and uh, come out of that and we'll come out of this again to see we'll close everything down we're going to disconnect the st16 now so let's disconnect it from the pc we'll go in here now we'll go back into my documents just to see uh, st16 factory reset go in there there's all my files now and we want to find uh, logs when the logs i already reset this so there probably won't be any logs here there's flight logs we'll try it and go in and see it so the remote remote gps and telemetry there might be three or four in here maybe but there's all my csv files there and i so there we go so you have all your files uh, and you're, you're good to go you haven't lost nothing so everything's still there Right, okay, where's my wee bio here? Screen recorder. I want to stop recording that now and let that save. Right, so anyway, so now that that's done, we made a copy of all the files. Now under the ST16, we're going to do a reset. Make sure all your switches are all in the center. We need to go into the tablet, the actual Android operating system. So you hit pad, okay come in and you want to tap so this is why it would start in here because the lighting's not the best and I wanted you guys to be able to see this the screen so I need to go into the Android operating system and go into settings we come down to you find a bit down here called backup and reset you tap your backup and reset uh, and then it comes up and asks you backup all your data which you won't want to do you want to back up don't really want to back up anything you, you want the factory data everything so factory data reset it's going to erase everything if you have a google account this will completely wipe it clean all your telemetry log files the whole heap now but you already have a copy so you're a okay 100% good to go reset tablet erase everything Ta -da! and now we just have to wait it's a bit of a waiting game let it do its whole thing it'll go through the erasing procedure it'll do everything uh once uh this the whole system puts back up again uh, the ST16 will no longer know all the endpoints for your uh, trim switches and stuff. So what you can do now then is make sure all your switches are centered while that's putting uh, your landing gear. Make sure your pan switch is in the center. Your sticks are obviously going to be in the middle. One you have to watch out for here is your gimbal control switch. I know this is hard for you to see because where my camera is I can't really move it. But the center, uh, the middle isn't really smack bang in the middle it's up just a wee bit because you've got the top which is there and the bottom which is there so 
middle is more about there I would say and you want to do the same on the other side for your turtle and fast mode or turtle and whatever you want to call it there we go so I'd call that center and center I'm happy enough that that's centered uh, another thing should have pointed this out at the very very start make sure you do this you have your antennas be it the ST16 ST16 plus make sure you have your antennas fitted uh, obviously we're running on 2.4 gigs and 5.8 gigs and they're trying to transmit and receive and do different things and you need to make sure your antennas are still fitted at all times so you don't damage the transmitter uh, RF fits inside the ST16 so keep your antennas on when you're doing this so we've rebooted it, it's erased, it's restarted we want to go English, OK there'll be a lot of stuff in here, times and stuff you'll need to go into the Android system to set up again but there we'll have factory reset it, the ST16 right, so once, that, once this is done you need to go into system settings and we need to go to about controller you can see ST16, the version is still up here everything the, everything that's hardwired into it is still going to be there the whole operating system and all is still going to be there so the about controller tab you need to tap it three or four or five times it depends just keep tapping it and you'll see you'll get into a hidden menu here and this is how you calibrate the stick so there we go so you just tap it until you come into this for it and then you see here enter test hardware test wi-fi test calibrate test which is the one we're going to hdmi setting and firmware upgrade don't be worrying about anything what you want to go to is calibrate test so go into calibrate test and we'll see here J1, J2, J3 this is all your sticks, your pan control and it's not your actual switches but it's all your sliders anything that can move with a potentiometer so basically calibration, so we want to start the calibration so that's us, we're in the start mode so you need to move all your sticks to every single end point and you can see that it has, once it goes green it has recorded the end points of all your sticks let them return back to center. You don't have to go to corner. You can go to corner, to corner, to corner, to corner, or you can go up and down and left and right. Just go to the extreme points. Same with your pan control. Fully right, fully clockwise, fully counterclockwise. Once you do it, lights up green on your sliders. Right up, both of them. Right up to the top. Right down to the bottom. Right up to the top. Right down to the bottom. Right up to the top. Right down to the bottom. Right to the bottom. Right to the bottom. Lower green. We'll do it all a couple of times just to make sure it's fully recorded all the end points very similar sort of setup what you have to do when you're setting up a flight controller okay so we want to finish that so we've finished the calibration of the sticks and we want to move on to the next stage and we want to test all our sticks and switches so here we have a list of everything on the ST16 that we can see now all your buttons your video record buttons blah 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 your auxiliary switch uh, motor start stop switch everything landing gear is all here so basically start going around everything pressing all the buttons, flicking all the switches until it goes green and return everything back to the center positions and this way you can test all your switches and if one hasn't went green something is wrong or you have missed a button somewhere again all your sticks you need to move to the end points and you'll see everything start to go green see I've missed something there two switches we'll pan control another one and B2 is auxiliary switch Ta -da! so we're all green we're all good to go want to finish that there we go and once that's went back we're all green again we hit the back button and then we hit the back button again and there you go that's it we can go back again now we're back, the sticks have all been fully calibrated, it knows all its endpoints, it knows all the endpoints for everything, it knows the centre positions, it knows all your buttons are working, and you have now just successfully uh, completely backed up your ST16, done a full factory reset, uh, can completely wiped the whole tablet, if you go into your tablet system settings now it's like brand spanking new as if it arrived just off the shelf and uh, there'll be nothing in here, there'll be no telemetry files in here or there will be no data in here at all where do we want to go, I want to go into the file manager to have a look here to see there'll be nothing, there's nothing in it, it's completely clean now you can go into your flight log 
Uh, we'll select obviously it'll probably be on configuration. We want to go to a map, not Google map. It's not set up yet. But you see your flight logs completely clear. There is nothing in there. Sorry for the poor quality of the pictures, people. But there you go. Success. And that is you now ready. The next stage you have to do, obviously, because you've wiped it clean, is now you need to get your Typhoon H. Get on, get it turned on, tilt it forward and back uh, at a 45 degree angle. Get the orange light flashing. Get into your system settings. Go to mode, go to model, select, select your Typhoon H. Typhoon H, everything will be back to factory settings. All your yaw rates, if you've involved or anything, everything is all back now to complete factory settings. You need to go to your band screen, turn on your H, tilt it forward back, your H will come up, your CGO3 plus will come up. You need to connect to both, put in the password and you're all bound up and bound yourself up and bang, you're good to go like brand spanking new. So, sorry this has dragged on for nearly 15 minutes there guys, maybe a wee bit longer but I just wanted to show you. Uh, I have not flown my H because I'm still on the... Uh, 2.25 firmware and I'm having a wee bit of issues with my compass so I'm waiting for a release hopefully a new release is going to be coming out soon this week uh, this is uh, the middle of the week now but uh, the 26th I, so hopefully this is Wednesday the 26th so hopefully something will be out soon we could, probably could go and take a chance but I don't want a chance it with problems I've had already I'm waiting for the firmware update but anyway guys I hope you's, uh, I hope I maybe showed you sir, uh, how to run through this uh, what to do if it's of uh, any benefit to any of you, let me know. Uh, but like I said, it just fully resets the ST16 and calibrates the six sticks so you know uh, where everything is. We'll go in here. Oh, where are we? Ta -da. You need to go to get your channel settings on. You need to go into system settings. You need to go to your other settings. You need to turn your advanced mode on. Then you go to your hardware monitor. You can see everything now is lit up green in the center. We know we're all center. If one of these is down, if you can see that there guys if one of them is already down and your sticks in the center you know something's wrong you know but you can see everything moving now you can see it all going there whenever I hit the button you see everything happening now and you can see all the sliders all moving and things happening there you know we're all good to go so now I need to go back myself and go in and bind to the Typhoon H but that's it you're good to go and you can't get into your channel settings here unless uh, you go into your other settings and set on your advanced mode and then you can use your trims as well if you want to but you need to set all that back up so you can go into your channel settings and uh, adjust your channel settings you need to have the advanced mode turned on for that okay guys all the best thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know if that was of any use to any of you at all hopefully if you're having problems with your ST16 uh, maybe this is one of the ways out even if it's not charging correctly or something maybe an issue could be a wee slight problem with uh, the android operating system itself or maybe you want to clear that out and take the logs off back them up or do whatever that's one way of going about it okay guys all the best seven thieves take care and that we will get you again sometime bye bye for now bye, -bye.